Hi everyone, well today I said to myself and ask myself whether I'm gonna get The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Well, after sitting with myself and doing it, I decided that probably I won't be playing it. Now the thing is that the adventure actually started really, I mean, I was pretty immersed uh, at the beginning. But eventually, the open world uh, type of gameplay in this particular game actually just got me tired and I actually got bored and eventually stopped playing. I didn't even really want to get to the end and finish the game. And keep in mind that I have no nostalgic connection to the Zelda series. It's either if the game is fun and I enjoy it, or if it's not fun, I'm just gonna stop playing it. I never force myself to play a game uh, that I don't enjoy. The moment I don't enjoy a game, I just move on to the next one. There are plenty of them games out there that I can play, so yeah. And even then, there are some games that I'm very nostalgic about and that I tried playing after, you know, many years after, both the original games and some of the remakes, and I just didn't enjoy them anymore. I just felt that, well, it was really fun back then. I have nostalgic connection to uh, some of the games, but I don't enjoy playing them anymore. And I never, never, never force myself to enjoy a game. Never. However, there are some games that are highly regarded as great games, and I, 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 at least I'm going to give them a try. Uh, actually, that's what I did. I played Link to the Past, and this game is incredible. This one I like as a game. And again, because I have no uh, nostalgic connection to the game at all, uh, again, I just give it a try. If I enjoy it, great. If I don't enjoy it, well, uninstall, move to the next one. But I did. The game is absolutely incredible. But for me, what's the problem with uh, Breath of the Wild? Well, first of all, it's not that I don't like open world games. I love open world games. But again, it depends. For example, Elder Ring, which I play like, I think, 700 hours, and I played like, it like three, four, five times. I even stopped counting. Anyway, I played it a lot. And the things that actually bored me eventually with Breath of the Wild that, again, there's no really something new and exciting uh, for me. Everything just felt kind of, uh, you take one segment of the game and just duplicate it all over. And that's how it felt. Eventually it felt repetitive and not surprisingly, eventually I stopped. Whether with Elden Ring, just in comparison, everything felt like fresh, new and exciting and different. It was like the top of my open world experiences of any game. So the thing is, what I left, I left with a bitter taste. Um, basically, well, I really don't want the same type of experience. I want something different. And uh, well, when I watched the trailer, it seems that there are some elements that are new, but overall it feels that it's gonna be quite similar. And by the way, regarding the visuals, uh, I really love the visuals of Breath of the Wild. I think they're absolutely beautiful, fantastic. I love it, the color palette uh, and the way the game looks, I love it. Now, if I had an emotional connection to the characters, to the story, maybe it would be different. But even then, I'm telling you, there are some games that I actually start, you know, in the series that I played before, and I played like the new game in the series, and I didn't enjoy it, I just stopped. So again, I'm not a fan of specific, you know, uh, series. I'm a fan of good games, basically. And uh, for example, when I play Elden Ring, uh, uh, this is the type of game that I thought that I'm never gonna play, but I gave it a chance and it just blew my mind away. It's uh, now I can tell you that's definitely the best game that I've ever played in my life. Now, it's not easy to design a world, an open world game that feel really satisfying in terms of progression, uh, in terms of you know uh, exploration, feel exciting. Uh, for example, all these uh, dungeons in uh, Breath of the Wild it were eventually so boring to me. Um, really, I just didn't, didn't feel excitement getting seeing one and going back into the world and exploring it didn't feel really satisfying. Yeah, you see new things here and there, but I felt that it was very much lacking. So it doesn't matter what other reviews say and you know, and if everybody prays and give it 10 or 20 or 30, it doesn't matter. What matter is my personal uh, subjective enjoyment of the game. There are some games that some players can enjoy, some not. For me, I'm not gonna lie to myself. I'm, I'm, I'm either having fun or, uh, or not or something again in between, but I know exactly what I feel when I play a certain game. And I want to have fun, that's the reason I play video games in the first place. Actually, the, with the, maybe one thing that can actually maybe convince you to try it out is maybe a certain website or review that actually mentioned things that I exactly felt when I played the game, rather than reading other reviews that don't even connect to what I felt in the game. So try to see if that person will actually review the game again, and maybe those things that uh, user reviews were actually mentioning uh, things that they didn't like in the game and is actually better, maybe this will actually lead me to play the game. But right now, 
it's a no-go maybe i'm going to change my mind not sure but uh, yeah i was in general disappointed with breath of the wild and um, i really don't want to pay again and just find myself in a situation where i'm just going to quit after i don't know like you know like a day or two and tell myself all right it's just more or less of the same thing so yeah that's my opinion let me know what you think you plan to get a game or skip it or yes, i don't you're not sure let me know in the comment section below let's discuss it there maybe gonna change my mind thanks for watching